Well, hello there, Kelly. Where's my hello, hello, hello? Okay, let me start again. Start again. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. There we go. We are back again for another installment of our Oxford Downtown Diaries. We are the dynamic duo, Kelly Westbrook and Kimberly Smith. Happy to be back. Yes, it's been a minute, it feels like. Was I know. Last I, week? To be honest with you, I think it's because we've been so busy yeah. that it just feels like the weeks are just flying by. It is. Because we skipped a week, but that wasn't last week, was it? No, but our kids got out of school last <laughs> week, and I think that's where we're at at this point. I don't even know what day it is at this point. I know. But I'm excited about our guest today, are obviously, you? because of I'm course. always very excited. <laughs> but uh, K Blocks is one of our newer businesses in town, and we have Michael Corbet on today. I just want to say your last name. That is such a cool Corbet. last name. Oh, there's a story behind it. Oh, oh, story. oh, okay. Well, I'm very okay. excited. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. We're going to talk about it today. Okay. <laughs> um, and then we also have with us Max, and he is going into his senior year at Ferndale. So welcome, Max. Hi, Max. Max is interested in doing podcasts maybe on the side, so oh. he's sitting in with us today. You know, we love as a DDA to interact with a lot of our students in Oxford and get to do that a lot, but it's nice to have somebody from a different school today. Yes. So welcome, Max. Lower Oakland County. We love this. That's right. <laughs> All right. So we're just going to just hit it off. We're going to start with your last name. Just just tell me. <laughs> tell me why. So what's interesting is why. K Blocks Barbecue is based on my sister and my brother-in-law's name, which is Knoblock. Okay. And looking for names for the restaurant. K block, no block. We kept playing with the name. And my sister's been teaching for 33 years and just retired at uh, Romeo High School. Awesome. Very exciting. And my brother in law has been in the food industry for over three decades. And we're struggling like, what are we going to name this place? And so we're like, K blocks, no block. And when we went to Urban Dictionary, K block meant the place to be. Oh, oh nice. So Very cool. Now she's known as Mrs. K, no block. But K blocks had just a real good, simple feel. The last name of mine is Corbet. Didn't have a real ring to it. Barbecue. Like <laughs> yes, K-box yes, and yes. Right, hook. right. And K blocks is good. It's easy to remember. Yeah. It rolls off the tongue. It's perfect. So the interesting part, and uh, Michael and I met not too long ago, just a few weeks. Um, been working with Brian, your brother-in-law, over email a lot um, since you guys were moving in, and we helped with the signage, but. Interesting thing is Brian starts the business, but then your background is so important because it's in marketing and advertising, so then brings you on. And how long ago was that? So we started in 2018 as a food truck. Oh, okay. And it really started at a family dinner, and our family dinners are big. I mean, we have about a dozen people. And when my dad was around, he took a big bite of Brian, had a smoked turkey. And he's like, Brian, this is too damn good for just us to eat. All you do is cook. Every meal, you have two smokers, jambalaya from scratch. Everything's homemade. What are we going to do with this? And these food trucks sound like a good idea. So I was working in advertising at that time. Brian was in food service and sales. And we just said, let's go for it. So we traveled across the country buying smokers, buying a trailer, and making it up from scratch like we do with all of our foods. And we put together this food truck, and we're hauling the trailer on the weekends, Going to festivals, getting That's a it, lot of work. Getting yeah. rained on, scrubbing dishes till two in the morning. But it was a lot of fun. But it's an also it's a very glamorized business. Food trucks hard. Yeah. yeah. And then we saw an opening less than an eighth of a mile from my sister and brother in law's house. It was an old Chinese food restaurant, Twin Dragons. It's been empty. And we said, Let's get a brick and mortar going. And we walked in there, there was a great chance for like a sixteen foot bar, full smoker opportunity. And what made it so special was Romeo is just such a good, strong community feel. And my sister teaching for 33 mm-hmm. years, is not a, she can't go anywhere without saying hi to someone. She's going to know. And we said, let's just go for it. So I took my advertising background and went into the branding, the marketing. You see, we have consistency of look, logo, tone, graphics from our T-shirts to the bottles. We sell everything. And we knew how important that was. So I could use my advertising background on that side, do fun, goofy videos and that kind of silly stuff for social media to keep pushing it. While Brian worked on the recipes and Kendra worked on the PR, and we've been open for five years. And when we opened in 2019, the month COVID started, we thought we were in trouble. I Thir- bet. Yeah, 33% of all restaurants in Detroit closed yeah. during COVID or shut down on their own. But we knew good food would help keep us open, and then the community kept us open, uh, just coming in, being supportive, 
And then now it's new faces and new dynamics. That's amazing. Yeah. And to open right at that oh my time, gosh. I mean, how hard <laughs> because you're looking at it going, oh, my gosh, we just opened our doors. Mm-hmm. But now you've expanded into your second location. And was it this year that it was number one barbecue in Detroit? Thank you for bringing that up. <laughs> we won in 2023 Best Barbecue in Metro Detroit through a competition with WRAF Radio. And it was 64 of the top barbecue restaurants competing. Amazing. And for this little restaurant in the middle of nowhere yeah. to take it, we had a lot of fans voting. But it was great because we had such a good community feel. And to tell you the truth, our food is that good. We went against some incredible barbecue restaurants. And you can't be perfect at everything. And that's what we learned by going to Texas. But we pride ourselves on having the best brisket and the top five ribs in the state. Like Brian does brisket better than anyone. And we've tried just about everybody. So if we haven't tried it yet, we're going we're gonna to find you. But we've done two research missions to Austin, Texas and Dallas, Texas. And we just scoured 12 barbecue restaurants in four days, two different times. It was oh, my gosh. Exciting, you delicious trip full. ever. Holy <laughs> moly. Like <laughs> an eating competition. Uh, right? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> It was good. And we found Goldie's, which won top brisket in all of Texas. Wow. Okay. And Texas Monthly puts out the top 50 restaurants. And Goldie's is a place in the middle of nowhere that these guys knew how to cook. And we waited two hours in line on a Friday just to get a plate oh, for wow. all of us. And that's Texas barbecue. So that's when you amazing. come to our place and you have to wait, and not, you know, we got a Yelp review. We had to wait 10 minutes. And <laughs> You're like, it oh. takes time to cook. <laughs> yeah. Good food, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, hit a drive through if you want that type of speed. But Oh, my goodness. Uh, we mentioned that because slow and low you'll see on all of our promotions. Yeah. Slow and low. It's like barbecue's not fast. We want you to sit down. We want you to talk, pull up a chair. And just opening up in Oxford, we wanted to bring that DNA from Washington here. Mm-hmm. But what was important is we wanted that grab-and-go type of feel. Yes. We're filling in for the old wood chips barbecue. And yeah. Patrick, who's just a great landlord, as we call him, but we also see him as a great partner. They had a really nice barbecue establishment, but we're bringing in a different style, true Texas-style barbecue. Big smokers, slow-cooked, authentic, and it's going to have a different taste. We're not swimming in barbecue sauce. We have three different sauces you can try, but we're asking people to come in. There's 17 seats. You can sit down, have some fun, or grab and go, and we're seeing a lot of that with our new friends in Oxford, that, that quick grab, go. Everybody has things to do, concerts to go to. Yeah. Like yeah. tonight. Like tonight. That's right. And can we just go back to this? Is it slow and low is part of your campaign? Slow and low. Slow and low. Because I feel like we need a beat. <laughs> can we like drop a beat here? You know, I don't know. I just feel like it's going to sure be a song. It's something. coming soon. It's coming yeah. soon. Keep your eyes out. Yeah. So what was it about Oxford that interested you to open your second location in? Well, we have friends who own a couple of restaurants in Oxford. Okay. And they always talked about the community feel. And we love Romeo when we had that. But we didn't want to compete with chains. You know, we know Big Beaver Road is just this yeah. epicenter for, for new restaurants. But you're competing against chains that have a lot of promotions. What we're looking for is that hometown feel. That word of mouth is going to get out. We're not coming in with big money for advertising and promotions. We're trying, but we're getting there as we build. But the people that we met were so authentic and so loyal, and they wanted us there. And they said, we want authentic barbecue to come here because – we don't want replication. We want one barbecue place, one Chinese food restaurant, one bar that's a microbrew. And now you're starting to see more bars and restaurants are opening up. But what's been amazing is the bars and restaurants are coming down and talking to us, not competing with us. Yeah. And we're sharing our menu with them. We're sharing our recipes. We're even going to cross promote with one of the breweries and have them be able to order K blocks and run down and grab it and bring it back to the bar, which doesn't happen in a lot of communities. It doesn't. And that is so nice. One of our other um, breweries does the same thing with another restaurant. And I think it's so unique, but I feel like everybody is so much more successful because all of you guys are willing to do that. And that's what makes for a strong community. And I definitely think that Oxford is known for that. Having We have 13 you know, bars and restaurants within just a mile and a half. But they're all so successful because they do things like that. Oh, 100%. When we met with the DDA, we got a chance to meet a dozen other store owners and business owners. All of them reached out after and just, welcome to Oxford. We're really going to help support you. Uh-huh. And we're getting a lot of cross-promotion on social media. So you'll see oh. we have a theme. So we'll walk over to the brownie box and we'll take a shot of the owner as they come in and take our, which we have this beautiful selfie wall. 
And we just want to welcome folks to come in, get their picture taken, grab a lunch, post. What do you think? If you love it, tell everyone. If there's something you want done a little bit different or didn't meet your standards, just pick up the phone and you can call us all personally. And that's why we, you see our names and phone numbers on all of our business cards. Like, barbecue is not for everybody and everybody has different tastes. But if there's something that was amazing, we want to hear about it. And that's what Oxford does. If they had a good experience, they're going to tell everyone. And now pushing catering, which is our real, our lifeblood. And with graduation season coming mm -hmm. and my sister being a teacher, barbecue is so simple. It's just an assembly line, grab and go, and we put containers out for carry out and take home food because barbecue can get pretty filling. But it's priced right. And that's what we want to do. We want to be priced appropriately for this community. And there's a great level of, of, of financial variances here. So we're not price gouging. We're really affordable. We hear people saying your prices are on point. We love it. If they think we're pricey, oh, we're doing $20 slabs of ribs on Father's Day. So we're doing it because we want to give back and we want to have people try the food as much as we're trying to make a profit and grow. And because if we don't get that community support and we try to price gouge, people aren't going to believe we're authentic. And that's exactly what we are. You're going to know the owners were there every single night. And the people we hire are from the original restaurant or in the community. So they're walking to work, which we love, so they take a lot of pride in what they do. And they're really promoting on their own social pages, uh, talking to friends, come see me at work, which you don't get, or I didn't get when I used to work at some of the restaurant chains. We're going to have Michael come in and talk to all of our new business owners. Because <laughs> that mindset and what you're talking about and how you are looking at it as a new business in the community that is what we hope for all of our new mm -hmm. businesses. Mm -hmm. So, um, and I, I just, I feel your marketing and advertising background. And I think that's a big part of it because you get it. And it's so important just to get it. I appreciate that. And I think for me, I we got the warm fuzzies that everybody was wel so welcoming to you. And I know we have a very welcoming community, but it's just so nice to hear that and to have someone experience that as well because... I feel, yeah, I'm not from a small town, right. so this is new for me, but I feel like of the small towns that I've been in in my life, this is the nicest. People are actually very much looking out for each yeah. other truly and trying to help each other succeed instead of competing against each other. So that was beautiful. 100%. Okay, I have to ask about your shirt. I don't know if they can <laughs> see it on screen, but go ahead and read it to us, Michael. So get smoked and sauced is, is really a great theme. <laughs> In Washington, we have a full-scale restaurant, a uh, long bar, a lot of micro-brews. Uh, we support local brewers. Uh, we have a, a relative who has a, a brewery up in uh, Grand Rapids, a trail point, so we support them and bring it in. Uh, we have a beer specialist who comes in trying to find the new businesses who are brewing that want to get on the map. There's so many new micro-brews yeah. coming out and bourbons coming out and pushing that happy hour. But when you come into our place, you're going to see a T-shirt wall. And uh, the other favorite shirt is Body by Brisket. <laughs> I love that. I love that. I feel that. like I need this in my life. I need a Body by Brisket. And we have t-shirts, you know, that are male-based. Nobody <laughs> believes that. I'm sorry. You're so <laughs> tiny. No one will believe it. They'll be like, you, we don't make brisket. it in extra small, okay? Yeah, it's funny. When you see a big guy come in, we have Jim, who's our neighbor, and this man can eat. But I'm telling you, put my daughter against him, who's 110 pounds. She'll take down a slab of ribs. So it's... <laughs> It's pretty All unassuming right. jeans, how much see? they can eat. <laughs> Thank you. There, okay. All right. We'll I don't see. know that I would be able to do that, but I still love it. I love the idea. That is so <laughs> great. I love that. Awesome. And shirts are at both locations? Yeah. Okay. So the quick promotion is we bottle our own sauces. We have three okay. different types. Um, the uh, bourbon, bourbon, <laughs> Memphis bourbon, which was our original. Uh, we have our apple, Romeo apple, and pit fire now that has a little bit of a kick. Oh. But what's really nice is there's a lot of guys who want to be their backyard pit masters. I've just got a smoker for the first time. And as much as I know at the restaurant, you go home and do it yourself. It's a whole different world because my brother-in-law, Brian Knoblock, is a pit master. Like this man knows it. He knows when to wake up. He has an bo internal body clock because when they're smoking for 14 to 16 hours, it's by the minute when you take them out. That's and when amazing. you wrap them and when you prep them because anybody can put something on a smoker for 14 hours and time it and use the meters. But history will tell you when it's that has that sensitivity. When's that time to wrap it? How long it needs to rest? Uh, how many ribs I need to make for Wednesday that I don't have too many the next day because we don't like to serve reused food at all. Um, and what's nice is everything is so fresh. And barbecue runs out. So you'll see in a lot of my posts, it's barbecue until 8 o'clock or okay. until we run out. Because 
we can't microwave anything. You're yeah. not walking in and it's just come back in 14 hours. We'll have just get ready. <laughs> no big deal. 14 Yeah, they hours. don't want to wait 10 minutes, but hey, 14 <laughs> hours, friends, right? Yeah. It sounds like, though, once they taste it, they'll be willing to come back. Agreed. And for for real, 14 because hours. people are cooking at home. We're not yeah. saying stop, but you can come in and get the actual rubs and sauces that we use and practice on your own. Then come up here, and what we've done every year is we do a cooking class. Oh, so cool. So future pit masters, from kids to adults, the guys who've been smoking for 20 years. Um, we have a lot of ladies joining in, in in the smoking business, which is great. And we learned it really going down to Texas. Uh, there's a place called Snows, and the woman is 85 years old, and she's one of the top five pit masters in the country. Oh, my God. We got a chance to meet her, and it was wonderful. And she's just always promoting it's not just a male world. Yeah. And that's why we have such a diverse menu. And, I, you know, I talked to Brian five times a day, and he's like, let's try this new hot chick sandwich. It's, it's a spicy wrap. And then let's do pretzel bites. And we'll put queso and pork rinds on. And then we have smokehouse salads. Because we don't want to just get that reputation of smoke and beer and barbecue that are in a lot of Texas places. But we want to be adapting to the community and what the tastes are and something new and something is interesting. So in Washington, we always have weekend specials. And if the specials start to kick, we'll put them on the menu. Because we have this seafood dip. And you're like, what, what is a barbecue place doing with the seafood dip? with this like crusty layer of cheese, lobster, crab, shrimp, all in this baked shell with homemade I'm so tortilla chips. I know. I was just sitting here. I'm like, can <laughs> we go so back good. to the office and grab uh, lunch? Well, our plan was, I told my husband, so it's our anniversary today. And oh, he's like, what do you want to do? And I said, well, concerts in the park is what we're going to do. But I said, <laughs> date night, big date night. <laughs> we're going to K-Blocks and we're bringing it to the park. Oh, nice. So That's we will awesome. definitely see you tonight. And I'm going to bring you like all the brisket with oh. your shirt. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to intrude on your date night. Maybe another time. Uh, I got to prepare. That's right. I got to prepare. So when is the pitmaster class? So we're working on it, scheduling it for this end of this summer. Okay. Summers are busy season for catering and grant business. But we're going to do it in the fall when people start to slow down, when their pits okay. start cl- closing up. And we started our first class and we put $150 and people were like, $150, that's so expensive. But when they left... It was a buffet of all the food that was just smoked, everything that was sliced. We had open bar for a couple drinks. And we had like a 75% return rate oh, for wow. folks who wanted to take it to the next level. So <laughs> what we did is the first half for beginners, next class was more of like a master class. And then we brought um, a, a, a man who specializes in beers and mixology. So he was talking about creating micro brews. And then this year we want to bring in a gentleman who specializes in bourbons. So you can okay. learn your bourbon and pairing it. Nice. So it's that's so fun. Really this is great because smoking is really taking off. Yeah, it very much so. But I'm almost my mind's going to maybe like a pit master competition in downtown Oxford, that's run by K Black. I love that. I mean, I, I feel like that. this is something that we could get uh-huh. really creative that uh-huh. the community could get into. Yeah, because yeah, barbecue is such a close knit community. Uh, when you go down to Texas, they'll share recipes. They'll they'll share their timings because. They know you're not down there next door trying to steal their recipes because people will know if you try to steal recipes down there. It's very competitive, but it's a brotherhood. And Brian always talks about that. And when you come up here, Brian, you know, his closest friend is this Steve Coddington known as Bubba's Barbecue. And Bubba's going to come up there all the time and they'll, they'll challenge each other on how to work their timings and their rubs. And Bubba has his own style. But Brian's style is just completely unique to, the, to this area. And nobody's doing that type of Texas. It's not... I said covered in sauce. It's a real dry rub. It's real simple. And we always say, come in for the pit platter. It's like four meats, jalapeno cheddar sausage, ribs, (laughs) slices of brisket, pulled pork, cornbread, uh, mac and cheese. And we won best mac and cheese two years in a row in home county. Uh, Pit beans. And I'll end it here. But the pit beans have nine different beans, I believe. Am I correct? Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. And when we're chopping brisket or, or chopping ribs, those little pieces will fall off. Those all go into the bean. It's not. It's not the old meats you'll see. Mm-hmm. You know when you used to work at other places, but it is so fresh. And someone texted online, "There was too much meat in my beans." And, and <laughs> who <laughs> says that? <laughs> we get the craziest Google responses. Oh, that is so funny. Our ratings great, but we reply to everybody because we want to hear. Yeah. yeah, that's amazing. Well, we're so happy to have you in our community, mm-hmm. and just already you've been such an impact. And you have your green glasses sitting over here. Yes. So just 
put those on for a second. So we oh. have Ladies 80s Night tomorrow mm. happening in downtown. Oh, you want me to wear them? Okay. And <laughs> I'm very excited because you guys are giving out a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah. For barbecue for Ladies Night, we went, what in the heck are we going to do? Yeah. Uh, and our friends of ours just had an 80th birthday party for their dad, and we all themed up for the party. It was I blast, love this. Blast. So we have all the extra giveaways. So we have glasses, the, the little Madonna gloves. Nice. We have beads, Very rings. And, and we're also doing specials. Like we're going to do free samples of our pretzel bites, which I'm telling you, one bite is enough. Oh, Knock goodness. Socks, we're going to see him we first tried, tomorrow. We tried those, didn't we? Didn't Kim have those in the office? Yes. We did try yes. those. That's right. Because she was. About to fall over. They were so good for. They were delicious. And we have our hot chick sandwich, which is a nice spicy Cajun wrapped uh, chicken sandwich, like our twist on a BLT. Okay. And you're gonna get a free side with that. So we always want to give back. And for barbecue, we're right at the end. You know, right where the trolley ends, we're gonna put put some lights up. And it's stop by if you feel like you're light on swag and gear. Stop in. We'll give you something. Grab a bite and go. But what's nice is it's we're getting partnered with. You know. Place across the street. The arcade have been good friends. We're trading food with each other. We're going down to GravCap to partner with them for food. Like in a month, we have so many new friends that are opening up. And the day that uh, the, the, uh, the wonderful woman from the brownie box walked over and brought a, a red velvet cake that looked like it Yum. should have been framed. It was oh, so beautiful. Wow. And she said, This isn't to our level of perfection. Do you guys want a free cake? <laughs> It's going to be a great neighborhood. Yeah, that's a great, that's a dangerous neighborhood. Yeah. Have. I'd be in there all the time. I will say, though, when um, um, you have these on tomorrow and you're in social district, be very careful. Be careful. <laughs> trying to see through those. Whoa. And there's light, so add that in. Yes, and, and it's going to oh, be yeah, a trouble. good time tomorrow. Oh, gosh. Oh, well, any other questions? No, anything else you would like to add or share with the community? Yeah, our biggest thing is just, Thanks to the community for welcoming us. We love the fact that we're getting so many shares online and likes, and it means a lot to us. And, it, and it's important that people reach out to us and ask because we want to cater the parties. We want you to be on the boat with barbecue because our barbecue is really simple and clean. You're not leaving covered in sauce, and it's not a messy. It's a real clean barbecue. And come in if you have any questions or call us. One of the owners will always be there, I, I can tell you. And if you want to learn more about barbecue, come on in on a slower time and ask for Brian or myself or one of the pit masters, and they'll be happy to share some of our secrets and timings with you to help you out. That is awesome. awesome. Thank you so yes. much. Oh, you're welcome. We're Thanks so happy us. to have you in the community and today. I know. This is great. Yeah, <laughs> this, is, this is great. I wasn't sure what I was walking into when I first met the, the, all the, the store owners here, but what a nice community. And yeah. There's so many events happening this summer, and we just look, and, and having Kelly's like, what are you doing for this event? How are you mm -hmm. participating in this? And yeah. just challenging everyone to be better and push and to have that type of support here in this community. We know we made the right choice to come here. Oh, yay. Thank you. Thank you. That. We do have a lot of events, don't we? That's an understatement. <laughs> but let's talk about what we kicked off this week. It's been a busy week. Line we, dancing. Line dancing was on amazing. Tuesday. It was so fun. It was, and I have the best blackmail videos of you and our interns ever. It was with your dancing. It's fine. It's, it's fine. great. But <laughs> you know what I loved about it is it was people of all ages that mm -hmm. were out there. It was couples that were coming out for date night. Mm -hmm. It was girlfriends that from college, you know, that were coming out. And everybody was having such a good time. So fun. Um, we got multiple calls into the office, multiple messages the next day. How do I join? Can I still sign That's up? Awesome. We had drop-in. So if people do want to drop in, we are allowing that $10 drop-in mm -hmm. next Tuesday. Yeah. And, you know, I can't say enough good things about Ryan. Oh, he was amazing. He is an amazing dance instructor, professionally trained. He was mine for Dancing with the Stars Michigan. Mm -hmm. So I knew that he was going to just rock it. And what a blast. It was so fun. And then yesterday was car shows and Wind Down Wednesday. Amazing car shows. I don't know if people went or saw the pictures, but it's truly incredible just how many people showed up and were walking around the community. Mm -hmm. And then tonight... We are praying for no rain. Yeah. But we have the Uptown All-Stars. Starting at 6.30. Yes. But I'm very excited about the <laughs> <Our> improv <opener. laughs> before. So yes. our new community theater program is going to kick off with improv. And I don't know. I We have some people signed up, but I have a feeling they're going to get people out of. Yeah. In the crowd. Yeah. 
So they're going to kick off with their group doing a little Warming scene up. Up. to show yeah. people kind of what it's all about. And I think once they people start to see that, they'll be a little bit more open to getting yes. into that. But yeah, I'm super pumped about it too. I think it's going to be really fun. It's going to be great. And then tomorrow, ladies night. Ladies of the 80s. We've got our costumes in our office. We are ready. <laughs> <laughs> and we have a busy day tomorrow, though, we because do. we go to the Chamber Golf Outing. We're hosting the Oakland County Managers Meeting, and then we go straight into Ladies 80s Night. So our 65-hour work week was really great this week. Mm-hmm. Um, but so many fun things and so many opportunities to engage the community, but also to bring business into our awesome businesses and restaurants and retail and mm-hmm. everybody downtown. Because, as you know, that's why we're here. Yeah. And that's what we're passionate about. Yeah. So. And our map for tomorrow is posted on Facebook. So if you're watching this and you haven't seen it yet, scroll below and it'll be there with all of the specials for tomorrow evening. Um, and then the trolley's running in from not five to nine. Five to ten. We five extended ten. it. Oh, yep. okay. Giving those ladies a little Yay. extra hour there. Five to ten. And then Lake Warren has their specials as well. And then, yeah, it's going to be a really fun But let's night. talk about what we really want to do tomorrow. You want to be the first 50 in line right. oh, for in sure. Centennial Park. To for get your very own neon fanny pack. Fanny pack. I mean, that's I just love perfect. This. I mean, and then you can go down to K-Blocks, get your glasses, get a bite to eat, and then nice. shop and start to yep. enjoy Social District. It's going to be so fun. And the weather looks beautiful. Yes. So very excited. It's been a good week for us. Yep. So looking forward to the next one. Thank you to Michael. Yes. Thank you, Max. We Thank hope you. now you want your own podcast. And we will see everyone next week. <laughs>